We are at the Iona Island Bird Observatory, uh, which is a project run by Wild Research where we monitor migratory birds coming through Iona and through the Lower Mainland. We catch birds as they move up and down the Pacific Flyway and we take measurements and we put bands on them so that if we catch them somewhere else we can uh, see where they're going. So we are opening the nets. Um, we do this half an hour before sunrise. Um, and then from there we'll check them every half hour for six hours. They can't be too tight otherwise they don't really fall into the pocket. The birds kind of bounce off. Um, but they can't be too loose, otherwise they just get too tangled. Okay. So now we wait for birds to start filling the nets. Okay. Hey, buddy. So this, this is a golden crown sparrow. This is a very special bird. Uh, because they are kind of one of our West Coast specials. They're only along the Western coast of North America. Some species are very calm. Oh, some species are a little bit more, uh, I don't know, uh, antsy when you get them in the hand. Sparrows are kind of in the middle, but definitely leaning towards the calm side. Warblers, they just kind of sit there. I don't know why it's like that. Chickadees will fight you. Chickadees are nasty. In a good way, I love them, but. Pull his wing out. There we go. And then the other wing, hey buddy. Like that. We gotta keep checking nets, but first we gotta put this guy safely in one of our specially designed bird bags. There you go. Nicely done. <laughs> That's a cute one. Right? Yeah. Just a little touch of yellow. So pretty. Aging them is incredibly difficult. We have to look at really subtle plumage traits, the shape of the feathers, the wear on the feathers, whether or not different feathers contrast because some are older than others. And from the patterns of growth of the feathers, we can determine an age of the bird. Once you start seeing birds, and, and not just sort of seeing birds and saying, that's a bird, but seeing a bird and really trying to figure out what kind of bird that is and realizing just how many species there are around you at all times, I think that really opens up your eyes to the natural world as a whole.